So guys, what do you think of that green candle? Personally, I need to see a close above a certain level, which I'll go through in today's video. I'll also be going through the market in much further detail, covering the Elon Musk and Jack Dorsey meetup, and giving my thoughts and projections for the market for the upcoming weeks and also months. Now also be sure to like the video and comment down below what you'd like to see in the background. And so with that all being said, let's jump straight into the video. And just like that, all of a sudden, we are all bulls again. Now, I don't think that's the case. I do think we're in sort of a weird inflection in the market at the moment. What I think on a macro scale, overall, the big picture, in terms of the monthly candles, if we look at that, we are in a bull cycle, but this is the sort of the bear market, the correction within that bull cycle. And so 29K, that's a bear market apparently, but 31K, we're definitely in a bull market again, and everybody's happy and we can go to sleep quite well. Um, I don't think that's the case. Um, there's gonna be times where we see a lot of volatility in the market. We see Bitcoin test the 28.5K region, the 27.5K region, and probably a bit lower than that as well. I don't think we are out of the woods. But the overall perspective, the bigger picture when it comes to these sort of things is that the volatility is there. And that's a good thing at the end of the day. So yes, okay, it's good to see the green candles. It's good to see the green in the market today, but we're gonna break everything down. We're gonna go through all of the interesting information I've got for you in today's video. And so if you're interested in that, again, be sure to subscribe to the Crypto Visibility channel today and leave a like, it very much helps us out. So I think one of the reasons why the market is in green today is because Elon Musk, along with Jack Dorsey, is going to be having a talk about Bitcoin called the B word. And so this will be quite interesting. So Bitcoin has reclaimed that 30K region. I think a key area, a key level that we need to look at is the 32K region. So if Bitcoin on the daily candles were to close above $32,000, then that's going to be looking good for Bitcoin in the immediate short term. But if we don't see that close below, or if we see that close below $32,000, it's not gonna look good for the immediate short term. That's just the way things go in the market. We have to look at the key levels, and from that, let's decide where things are gonna be going. That's my analysis. That's where we think things are going at Crypto Busy. If you think otherwise, do comment down below. I'll be very interested to hear what you guys have to say about everything. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna go through in today's video. Again, $70 billion in just a day, just because I think the main reason is because Elon Musk and Jack Dorsey is gonna be having that chat, having that conversation, and by the time this video comes out, something may have happened completely different to the market. That is just one of those things when we see that volatility in the market. This video is recorded just a few hours before it comes out, and so we could be seeing something completely different. So anyway, let's just go through the market and see what's happening in the market today. So what we're seeing right now is a market cap of $1.275 trillion. That is a lot of capital in the market. So for any of you who have doubts or second thoughts about where the market is going, take a step back on where we are at the moment. And that is the big thing. The amount of capital that is in the market is key. And so we're seeing, again, huge amounts, $1.2 trillion, that is a lot of money. That is an eye-watering amount of money. But when you compare it to the stock market or real estate or precious metals, it is just a small piece compared to the giants of the traditional finances that are out there. So I believe there is still room for growth. Now, the other thing we have to look into is also the Bitcoin dominance. It is around 46%, and so Ethereum's dominance is around 17%, nearly 18%. And so I think as Bitcoin starts to recover and the trust and the optimism starts to get back into the market, we will see Bitcoin's dominance go above 50%. That's where I think things are going to be going for the next few months. I think, again, we're gonna be seeing the dips. We're not gonna be seeing um, you know, no more dips ever. We're going to be seeing dips along the way. That's just the way things go. There will be corrections, but again, the trend is your friend until the end of the end of the day when it comes to things like that. And I do think, again, Bitcoin's dominance will be above 50% just as it reaches back to its previous all-time high and potentially goes higher than that as well. And what we'll see, we'll see the inflection, we'll see, you know, Bitcoin's price go down a little bit, Bitcoin's dominance go down a little bit, and we'll see that capital go from Bitcoin into the altcoins, and that will be a fantastic time for the market as well, for altcoins at the end of the day, because we feel at Crypto Busy, none of this is financial advice, but I'm not financial advisors, but we see much more potential with the altcoins compared to Bitcoin. We have a lot of love for Bitcoin, but we do think that altcoins will be the supreme leaders at the end of the day. So you can see here, Ethereum is up 9%, XRP is up you know, at 5%, already 6% today, Cardano 10%, Cardano nearly hit $1 yesterday, which is absolutely insane. And if it were to go below $1, and if it, do, if it does go below $1 again, then I will be picking up some more Cardano, that is for sure, mark my words. But also XRP as well, looking well. Dogecoin, 
it's just, it just is what it is. I think that's tied into what's happening with Elon Musk um, and then other things as well. So Polkadot up 13%. So it is good. We want to see that in the markets, that volatility. But that also comes with the price and the prices of Bitcoin. Now, also, what I found quite interesting is we just if we look at the wider picture, this is also an important thing. And you must look at this and, and look into this as well and understand this if you don't understand it already or haven't seen this sort of information before. But crypto is in the financial markets. That's the way things are. And so is the stock market. And so is just everything else. Human interaction. It's just the way things are. And that's how you know the crypto market is built. And so if we think about it logically, this is from that Martini guy. Summertime is the worst time for the financial markets. It's just the way things are. People are on holiday. The, you know, the, the CEOs, they're on holiday. They're out in Barbados or the Seychelles, wherever they may be. The sun's out, so they want to go outside. We want to go out for a beer or whatever it may be for a drink. And, and going outside, and that's just the way things are. And so people tend to sort of stay away from what's happening in the markets, take away the interest and the way the volatility. So you may see sort of just a, a, you know, not much volatility for the next few months. As we get into September, and people start to get back into work, back from holiday, uh, going back inside as it starts to get, you know, the British summer goes away and everything like that. And I'm sure also in the States as well, you know, we're starting into the winter months. That's where we see, you know, more capital flowing into the markets. So completely agree with what that martini guy said here as well so let's go into some bitcoin and also some ethereum technical analysis this is quite interesting stuff so as i mentioned earlier in today's video we need to see the close above thirty two thousand dollars for some positive price action for bitcoin in the immediate short term and for any of you who may be thinking well i want to go into this particular altcoin or that particular altcoin um you know how, how do the technicals st uh, stand fair look at bitcoin first because as we know bitcoin does dictate where the rest of the market is going and you know if bitcoin does well so does the rest of the altcoins if bitcoin does you know really badly so does the rest of the altcoins so we have to look at what bitcoin is doing first there's a bit of nuance so we can go into ethereum's technical analysis as well later on but let's just stick with bitcoin just for the time being so as much as as we can see i'm on the daily time frame as much as these sort of red candles here which are very large. You can see here, this one's quite large. It went from $35,000, nearly $36,000, all the way down to $31,000. So a $4,000 move, pretty much, nearly a $5,000 move in this particular red candle. That is manipulated as much as this green candle that we're seeing right now. And the same with also this green candle as well. So there's manipulation when it goes down. So I hear also sometimes people say that when we see a massive red candle, it's manipulation, it's manipulation. And then when we see a massive green candle, everyone's saying, oh, that's natural price action. It's the way things go. No, if it goes down or if it goes up, there's always going to be manipulation, regardless of whether it is up or down, red or green. There's always going to be manipulation. That's just the way things go in this market. So have your reservations. Take it with a pinch of salt. That's today is a great day for the market. It's good to see at the end of the day. Nice to see, but also at the same time, just be aware that there are people out there that want to push the prices in particular directions. I don't think there are institutions out there that want to see Bitcoin go to $10,000. I don't think that is the case. I don't think it will happen. But there are institutions out there that want to see Bitcoin go as low as possible for them to get a good return on investment. And I think that region is, again, around the 28000 maybe even a bit below that. But just for the time being, we've seen that green candle. So this does affect where the rest of the market is going. And again, we need to see that close above $32,000. Potentially, and I think also hopefully as well, above the 20 EMA, which is this orange trading line you can see right now, which is around $32,500. So a close above the 20 EMA would be great for Bitcoin. And that could be, again, great for the immediate short term. So we have to take everything into account. Do comment down below all your thoughts and opinions on that. I'll be very interested to hear what you guys have to say. And as I said, as Bitcoin does well, so do the altcoins. And so what we're seeing right now with Ethereum having a lovely green candle here as well. Again, this can be manipulation as much as this green candle here can be as manipulation. So we have to take everything with a pinch of salt. So what we're seeing right now with Ethereum, if we see a close above $2,000, that's going to be good for Ethereum in the immediate short term. If we don't see that close above $2,000, then it's not going to look good for Ethereum in the immediate short term, unless we see a massive inflection out of nowhere. But just technically speaking, on the technical analysis, deep into the charts, we need to see that close above that major key level. If we don't see that close above that major key level, then it's not going to look good. But that's the main thing. We have to look into the key levels. And it's something we do talk about on our course. We have our Pro Trader course. And also we go through much further detail with our Crypto Busy VRP coin calls. So we go through much further things into the markets. We go through webinars every single month. We're actually doing one today. So by the time this video comes out, 
We've really done the webinar already, going through the market in much further detail, and also an opportunity to interact with you, the trader, go through fundamental and also technical analysis, and also by the name of it, there are also coin calls. So every single month there'll be coin calls for, for coins that we think will be potentially doing well for cryptocurrencies that we think could be doing well. And if there's, you know, we want to have more riskier stuff, there's also the, uh, the weekly coin calls as well. So there's loads of cool stuff. You'll be joining a group of over a thousand members actively and passionately trading cryptocurrency. It's all on Discord, so make sure they have Discord, and it's all linked down in the description below. So now I'm going to go through some news and some also some price predictions and some market predictions for where things could be going in the upcoming weeks and also months. This is really important. This is an important part of the video as well. So be sure to uh, you know, stay tuned for this one here. So there will be more regulation. That's the key thing. Bitcoin transfers are going to be more traceable under plans for uh, you know by the EU. This will be replicated in the states all over the world this is the way things are and what is ironic about how crypto was in the beginning it is untraceable it is supposed to topple all the governments in the world topple all the banks in the world and you're not going to defeat that you just have to if you can't beat them you have to join them and you know you can morph and have your voice be heard but just this is just the way things go this is just the way the reality is governments will you know put down the regulation they want to put down something similar to what's happening with the sec lawsuit with the Ripple SEC lawsuit, I do think that you know the SEC will lose this, but they will come back fighting with more harsher regulation. That's just the way things go. So that's the first thing there. Also with the Turkish government, they're gonna be regulating cryptocurrencies in October. This would be really important as well. Um, and then more of that in, with what's happening with the regulations. So your MetaMask wallet, for example, or your Binance wallet, or whatever, whatever wallet you may want to use, whether you use a Swiss board wallet, you know, you already use KYC, so there's already identification there. But for the sort of anonymous wallets that are out there, you know, there will come a point in our lifetime where um, that you have to show and prove who you are because there are people out there that want to stop money laundering. And that's a whole kettle of fish I don't want to get into right now. But Bitcoin crashes below $30,000. That was yesterday. But accumulating is brewing. And that's the key thing as well. The institutions want the retail investors to sell all of their Bitcoin because they want to accumulate it as much as possible. The exchanges, they are buying up more Bitcoin. Um, institutions, they're buying up more Bitcoin and many other people as well. I think also central banks will be getting interested in what Bitcoin is doing as well. So really interesting stuff that's happening behind the scenes. Also on top of that, Josh covered this in yesterday's video. MasterCard simplifies card payments for crypto firms. This is really important as well. Using the USDC, not USDT, even though there was a lawsuit that was settled with Tether, very interesting stuff that USDC has been used and picked by uh, MasterCard. So I think there's a bit more transparency behind USDC compared to Tether. And so that's why I think MasterCard went for that. And that is good news. The only stable coin that I use is USDC. If I have no other choice, then I will use Tether. But, you know, as much as I can, I'll put it into USDC. That's really important. So let's go through my conclusions for today's video on what's happening in the market. I think the main reason that we're seeing this pump in today's, uh, you know, in today's market is because of Elon Musk and Jack Dorsey having that chat. So by the time this video comes out, something may completely have happened or, or changed or whatever. Um, but again, there'll be more content to talk about there as well. Take everything into account. Take every day as it is. Have that long-term perspective. There will be corrections along the way. There will be dips along the way. And the overall image of what I'm seeing in the market right now is that we're still in this bull cycle. And that does mean, and that does include corrections along the way. So that's it for me in today's video. Do comment down below all of your thoughts and opinions that have gone through in today's video. All comments are welcome. And I'll also be responding to some of your comments down below as well. Leave a like on this video if you liked it. And if you love what we're doing at Crypto Busy and you want to see more of what we're doing here, be sure to subscribe to the Crypto Busy family today. So that's it for me in today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.